Hi guys, I'm going to plug in my glue gun and I'll be right there. And I'm going to make sure my camera's in focus. Yes. Hello. I just pray I stay in focus for you guys. I'm going to show you how I'm making my paper clips. This is um, a new way that I started making my paper clips. And I just figured it out a couple of days ago. This is one that I've done with a real big clip that looks like this. Here's a couple of uh, a little, I mean, they're bigger clips, but they're a lot smaller, of course, but they're, they're not the small regular size clips. And how I do that is I'm using my washi tape that is the fabric kind. I kept thinking I want to make clips, but, and the ones I've tried, they're just, they're not good. And then I thought, what can I put on the clip that I could attach something to? And first I thought about twine, then I thought no, because the um, glue could leak through. And then I remembered that we had bought this cloth washi tape, and never used it and didn't know what I was going to use it for and it works great. So let me grab my scissors and we'll get started. Okay so I think on this one right here I'm going to put it on a big clip because it's such a big flower. So what I'll do and I'm going to use the blue polka dot because it kind of matches on oh, maybe this one looks better or the green I think I'm gonna do this color the tan color and I like to wrap it around at least three times so I'm gonna cut this off get it started here and I kind of cut it at angle when I cut it off God, that folded on itself and make sure you have the right end then when I start I put it as close to the top that I can but not to where it's gonna bunch up the wrong way and then I um, fold it over on itself just a little bit and then I just wrap it around and it's so sticky on the cloth that it sticks to itself really well and I do pull it tight and then after that I squeeze it together in the middle and then when I get ready to put the flower on I do it on the side where my tape ended now my flower is kind of not that good looking in the middle right here. So I was going to take one of these little dimensional uh, embellishments and put in the middle of that flower. And I think that I'm going to use this blue butterfly because there's butterflies in this flower. I don't know if you can see that or not. And hopefully my glue gun is warmed up over here. I'm going to take off the dimensional. Just because I'm not sure how well the hot glue will stay fastened. If it could ever possibly fall off. And that's good for me. I hope this is warmed up. I usually use on cardboard my hot glue gun, but for right now I'm just going to put it on this paper. And 
and I'm new at using a glue gun too so I just lucky me I just burnt my finger flyaway things. Now it doesn't matter to me which way I put this on here because I can put it straight when I put it on the paper clip. I think that really adds to that flower. And I just wait a little bit for that to dry. And now I'm going to put the hot glue on the paper clip right in the middle here and I don't put a whole bunch just about a pea size depending on what you're sticking on there you go by that and then I turn the flower over make sure I've got it the right way and I put this down and hold it for a little bit I don't know that you have to hold this but I am. Um, just make sure it doesn't slip around. And there you have a paper clip. To decorate on anything that you want. So I thought that I would try. I dug out some stuff to try. Um, to do a paper clip with to see how it would work. And I think I'm going to try this heart and one of these little character guys. And I think I'm going to try this one. It looks like a little bunny. I don't know if um, the hot glue will melt this. I hope it doesn't but I'm only going to try one to see how it works and I'm going to use this paper clip and I don't have any white cloth I have like the rose let me see how much it shows through so it'll be about right there um, where's the other one That might be cute, like if I just do it underneath this t-shirt. There's this one. Let's check out this. Oh, the polka dot's cute too. Let's do, let's do the polka dot. And before I cut it off, because this is a smaller clip, I cut this in half. I'm going to cut it off, and there I've got two pieces for two more clips. Then I find the end that's got the point. Peel that off. Again, I start up as high as I can without going. I leave a gap at the top, and I fold it over on itself like that. And then I start wrapping and, and I pull taut when I'm wrapping. Not not so tight that it, I pull the clip together, but I don't leave any slack, if that makes sense. Squeeze it in the middle. And I I always add the glue to the clip and then turn my piece upside down. So I know, um, I, it's better for me to know where I'm going. So, just a little bit on this, because it's a smaller piece. And I'm going to put this, I think, over the teddy bear area on his shirt. And hold it. Hope I got it even. He's a little crooked, but I think you can still use it. Let's see, let me hook him on something. 
clip him on, I mean. Awesome, and it didn't melt. And the thing about using the tape and not going so high is you can slide it up pretty far. Just like here, you can slide it all the way up here. I think that is so fun. I'm, I'm addicted to doing paper clips now. I've been going through my stuff trying to find what I can make into a paper clip. And like this one right here, I want to do into a paper clip. But on the back, it has the peel off and then it's sticky. Well, how I'm going to get rid of the sticky is I'm going to use my embossing buddy, you know, the powder thing. And if you don't have that, you could use um, cornstarch baby powder if you want it to smell good. But cornstarch would work good. Or like I said, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. And I just have different pieces here that I'm going to try to turn into paper clips. I'm just so excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Um, I got one coming up showing you how to make a tag and how to make a um, stuffed envelope the super easy way. Okay, you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.